This is the spot. Now, did it save all my looting in here? Doesn't look like it. And if it did, it's all back. I don't believe there was anything for me to loot over this way. Oh, there's something. And this is the one I got stuck in before, so I'm not jumping over there. There's a volatile. And I have to open it from the other side. Unspent skill points once again. Driving. I'll go with that one. I'm going to get him. Got him. That was actually reasonably easy. I don't even know what I'm really doing in here. One just appeared in here.
is this one of the things? And how do I get rid of it? Does that do anything? Doesn't look like it. Can I do anything with these yet? Whoa, there's a lot of volatiles up there. Maybe I can't do anything with them yet. Because it's not showing me anything to do, it's not telling me how to... Not telling me how to um, kill them or destroy them. Inventory full. Really? I guess then I'll head back to base. And from base I'll hand in those Airdrops. I don't know why things are so framey at the moment. What do I have to sell? Not really that much.
So I'm going to talk to the exclamation mark ones first. Then I'll do that mission here. Then I'll exit the game and reload it. Eski? So, you don't think Air Khan was there when it happened? No. No, I don't. Alright, so what then? I didn't know him personally, but I've heard people talking throughout the years. He wasn't the bravest of men before the outbreak. Well, I did find him in a cellar. You think he was hiding the whole time? Well, I didn't say that. It's possible, though. That's... It's hard to believe. What's hard to believe? That someone wouldn't want to die when he doesn't stand a chance in a fight? That someone would abandon his family, his, his loved ones, in a situation like that. I don't know, Kaya. I wish I knew what I really think about this, but I don't. But I don't know. I don't have an opinion. Just, would you? I would really like to think for a while. Alone. There he is. It's good to see you here. So how's she doing? Still not responding, but I think she's getting better. Yeah, it looks that way. And how are you doing? I'm, uh, oh, I didn't even have a chance to thank you yet. Sorry before I was in shock I didn't think thank you thank you for saving me there yeah well I I faced a lot worse recently I'm glad I could help <sighs> I wish I was like you but you can't teach an old dog new tricks can you I need to focus on her right now she's the only bit of my old life I've got left Still can't open that door. There's this blue guy. Usually there. Just a bit of conversation. Nothing important. Ah, Mr. Crane, isn't it? You're really something, you know that. Never seen a man earn the trust of the children as fast as you did. They've kept an understandably low profile ever since the government banned all illegal religious sects in our country. Banned? But why? There was a massacre 50 years ago. It was chaos after that. We had to act fast, and we had no idea what should be done. It was in politics back then, but not corrupt. Not corrupt. I voted against the madness, but nobody listened. They laughed at me, blamed the children, but I knew they were wrong. My mother grew up here and never had a bad word to say about the children. After I lost everything, I came to this place and helped them start a preservation society of sorts. They kept their rituals a secret, didn't accept anyone from the outside. And for a long time, I felt betrayed, Mr. Crane. I helped them survive, and they shut their doors to me. How could they? They didn't accept you into the, uh, the group? No. I'm sure you can imagine how betrayed I felt. But now, now that the government has failed to protect its people, the children have reappeared stronger than ever before. And after all those years, they didn't forget about me, Mr. Crane. I'm well fed, clothed, and safe. They provide me with everything I might need. I wish I could say all's well that ends well. I just hope we... Thank you so much for the raid again, uh, old man Shorty. Two days in a row, awesome. Thanks for everyone who has followed in with the raid. Uh, welcome in again, Eva, old man. And thanks for the follow there, Junior. Very much appreciated. Also, thanks for the hydrate. I will do that right away.
So today I'm getting stuck into the Dying Light, the following DLC. As you can see, it's a bit framey, so I'm about to restart the game. Hopefully that'll make things a bit smoother. I, as I mentioned yesterday, I am a variety streamer, and I play all sorts of different games. From SnowRunner yesterday to Dying Light today, and when Dying Light's finished, I'll be starting a visual novel cross escape room game. I have also played platformers, um, other visual novels, and all sorts. And welcome in there, SOS Illy Play. Minecraft. That's a bit of a long name. I think I've got that right, did I? Hopefully. So once I've finished talking to Jasir here, I'm just going to restart the game and hopefully be able to smooth Jesus, out weapons collection. Ah, uh, yes. The it's game. Something I've wanted to take care of for a while now. There was this man, Adam, who lived in town, a bit eccentric, but everyone liked him. Especially when he got drunk. Well, he had a huge collection of weapons, famous for it. And he was a good shot with his precious revolvers. But then, when he started getting older, he got paranoid that someone was going to steal them. And the rumor is, when he died, his house turned up completely empty. No weapons anywhere. Okay, but how does this saber fit into the picture? Ah, Adam was crafty. Years ago, he got hold of my grandfather's saber, and nothing I could do would persuade him to give it back. I just hope if he hid his other weapons, that saber is among them. That one was picking up a side quest. I'll talk to him again for picking up the main quest. Jazir, that was one cryptic message. I didn't want to get into details over the radio. One of the men from town just died from the water poisoning. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, we all were. He was military. And he asked us to give away all of his possessions. The last thing we have left is this card. I don't know what its purpose is. That's yeah, a military key card. I mean, if it's properly authorized, it could open any military electronic lock. Oh. Well, then, here, you take it. Maybe it'll help you. Besides, we wouldn't even know what to look for. Yeah, thanks, Jazir. That sounds good. So that one, turns out it was a side quest. That one was for, I needed to go to a water station to find out why the water had stopped. What had happened is bandits took it over and dumped bodies in there to poison it to try to kill people. Unfortunately, it sounds like one of their people has died. Therefore, I had to, that they just gave me the key card. I talk to him again. We all saw it. The mother accepted you into the following. And this is we the main quest. You into our community too. You are welcome now among the children of the sun. Thank you, Jazir. There we go. Now that that's done, I'll try to. I'll restart the game to try and make it smoother. This game does have incompatibility, supposedly, with my video card. And the best fix I've seen or heard of was disabling vertical or V-Sync when I end the game. And re-enabling it when you enter the game. So that's what I do. We'll quickly give a restart. And while we are doing that, I'll do it with the event. The event at the moment is basically celebrating seven years of since the game's release. They're doing a little event of double XP 
so may as well use it. I'm almost max XP on everything anyway. And it has loaded us in the same spot. But he's got the conversation again. Why? We all saw it. Yeah, I already saw there. that. That was the last thing we done before. Tell me about this Sabic guy. Before the outbreak, what was his job? He was a forest ranger. A proud and brave man. Always said he felt better in the company of animals and people. Yeah, I think I know the type. I've already so heard this as well. Faceless. No. And that's when he started that bringing you taking care of. And he still lived. And that's what was thin line between. Skipping all that because I've already heard it all. I'll chuck on beating again. It already feels smoother. Yep. I've already talked to this kid as well, hey kid, so I'll skip the through this. A present? She's coming back and she can play. That kid's mum took a job in Haran and was supposed to well sent him a letter saying he was getting a getting something in the mail and he's waiting on that mail. Ah, Mr. Crane, isn't it? You're really something, you know that. Never seen a man earn the trust of the children. They've kept an I've already heard that as well. It was in politics. They laughed after I looked. Many years earlier, he was a politician, and his country banned all religions that weren't something, but he was against it, and he took it as he was always helping the religions that were that became illegal but one of the religions didn't accept him and kind of went in hiding and hid from him and he took that as betrayal what is this place There you go. I don't know how to thank you. I pray for the God of the Sun to bless you. And here's something from me. Thank you. Nice. That's a solid bridge there.
I can't get in that building. I watched it go down. It's worth checking for survivors. It could be someone from outside the quarantine. Here we go. Found a way in. Most likely going to be enemies in here, but will there be actually? Not guaranteed. There's a bit of loot in here. Unfortunately, a lot of it is food, which I don't need. Maybe I can use this door. I couldn't do that from the outside. Stuff outside there. Still stuff upstairs as well. Uh, why did he look at his watch? Oh, night time. That would be why he looked at his watch. <laughs> 